ourselves, were we looking ahead to this moment? Because we've known for at least a year and a half that this day was going to come. And for us not to have the IT resources or the human resources to accommodate it is, is just really poor government. The agency says it's aware some Medicaid cases were improperly denied and they're working to reinstate coverage for those individuals as soon as possible. Well, if you're up for a good show like a musical, then why not go to one that supports local music education? I mean, music and supporting local education, that is definitely a win-win. Danielle's got all the info on this event, Danielle. Yeah, you guys up for a little theater in your life? For sure. I am. Some drama. <laughs> a little drama, but it's good drama, okay? I'm telling you about a spectacular performance of Beauty and the Beast, and it's all being presented by the amazingly talented students at the Boys and Girls Club of McAllen. See, it's a community event, so anyone in our Rio Grande Valley home can definitely check it out. And it's all going down at the McAllen Performing Arts Center that's off of Convention Center Boulevard in the Upper Valley, of course. The so tickets are going to be under 10 bucks each, and the great thing here is that all the proceeds are going to go towards support the club for the benefit of all the students in the various programs that they offer. Now the Boys and Girls Club of America in general of course is a place that helps young students and teens gain access to different academic resources and experiences and of course educational opportunities and the instructors of the club really help students gain personal and social skills on top of professional ones that can really benefit their schooling and their future careers. The organization across our nation has been in operation for the past 100 and 60 years. Wow, and it's with the support from local community members like us that our RGB students can really benefit. Plus, the music education sector in general has a lot of positives that do come with it. That includes increased self-esteem and confidence and so many other things. Not only that though, but it supports a healthy expressions of our emotions and it's just a fun hobby and of course extracurricular activity for uh, them to engage in overall. So it's uh, attending a classical you know, music show like Beauty and the Beast, all our 956 students, if that sounds like a plan to you, then you can definitely make plans on heading out there. It's all going down this Wednesday, that's August the 2nd, and you can check out bgca.org for all the information so that you don't miss out on a thing. You guys, I happen to know that we are all a fan of Beauty and the Beast, so my question is, which character would we play if we were in the show? That's a good question. <laughs> I, obviously, I mean, we know who you would play. I would <laughs> I want to be Val. Yes. <laughs> you are fit for the occasion with your outfit. <laughs> I know. Did you, did you know we were talking about this story? No, it was a coincidence. <laughs> That's Maybe. hilarious. <laughs> I get access to all of Danielle's scripts. <laughs> what about you? Oh, man. You know, I don't know. Um, I actually like her. What is it? Her grandpa or her dad? What The, the man in the bookstore? Oh, okay. well, who is he exactly? I forgot. I don't yeah, know. her I dad, her father. Her father, right? But she, he's just so like quaint. Right, and yes. I just really like who he is, his character. I don't know. What about well, you guys? I don't, I don't know. What would you classify me as? Oh, from there? man. <laughs> I, um, um, well, you know. Putting well, you on the spot. Right? Well, yeah, know, it's I'm because we can't the say treasure, the teapot because you're the, right. the teapot. Yeah, I'm the teapot. So. The teapot. Hmm. I'm the, I'm the, kid, I'm the kid teapot. The kid. I think oh, you are a Lumiere, the candles, oh, Lumiere. because you okay. light up our world. Oh, yes. Oh. That is so good. Yes. Yeah. You're good. We love having you on the morning <laughs> you show. You are just the best. You're yeah. definitely not the beast, but the best. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, good thing yeah. you clarified that. Yeah. Well, this even of sounds course. like a lot of fun, a good yes. way to support and good for mm -hmm. those kids, too. 100%. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Sounds good. Great, Daniel. Awesome. I love it. And let's go to the... Hot teapot? Yes. Oh, there it's going to go. be so hot outside. <laughs> it's going to be steaming oh, as we head wow. into this afternoon ah. there. Here's a look at the currents right now. A very beautiful sunrise expected out on South Padre Island. We're seeing a few clouds off in the distance there, but currently 80 degrees. Water is very still there, so no winds at the current moment. We will see those winds start uh, picking up later this afternoon, though. But temperatures in the upper 70s, low 80s. We're definitely expecting the rest of our morning to start warming up once that sun does rise over the horizon. We're going to be in the 90s, but we do have some